So I want to give an overview of um, some of the IUT papers. Um, so I guess the two most important things are uh, IUT4, okay? So this is um, the paper where the, the claim of the ABC conjecture is made. Um, oh, okay. So uh, in this, um, uh, they use this um, elliptic curves in general position. Uh, and so this is just kind of, so this is uh, the, the important theorem here is theorem uh, 1.10. Um, okay, and then this uses his uh, Bell UMAPS paper. So um, what he does is he essentially reduces the, the ABC conjecture, or sorry, the, the general Voigta conjecture, by general I mean on curves, to the uh, Voigta conjecture for P1, P1 minus a couple points. And this is where he, he has to do um, his uh, special belly maps. Okay, and, and not only that, he uses kind of a strong form. In this paper here, there's a, um, he uses a proof by contradiction. So this is going to make this, this part here uh, ineffective. So it's, it's, you're, we're not going to be able to get the explicit constants for ABC. Um, what goes into this theorem 1.10, so everything here, everyone, I think most people think that everything here is good. Um, so uh, what go, feeds into this is this, this uh, the third paper where this is kind of the, the main point of the paper. This is the whole point of everything. And, uh, and what they prove here is this so-called... Um, uh, uh, I guess you could call it the the fundamental theorem of uh, IUT. So, and what this says is that, um, uh, so it says that the log of Q, if this is less than or equal to C theta log of theta, okay, then this implies that C theta is greater than or equal to minus one. So this is the fundamental theorem. And it's just a volume computation. So it all comes down to some, uh, uh, so some volumes in Rn and some some polyhedral space. Uh, so they prove this, and then in, in this paper they give a specific example of what this c theta is going to be. So that's what. Um, so this is this. This is a corollary. Uh, Three point twelve. Okay, so this is the the big theorem here. Um, what feeds into this are, are two papers. So, um, and I, I'm going to call it like this. So here, this is this is one of the this is the part where everyone's having trouble understanding right now. Um, the two things that feed into this are this second paper and the third paper, or in the first paper here. So this the first paper is on Hodge theaters. So this is uh, these are about systems of Frobenioids. And this paper uh, defines what the Coomer detachment is. And, okay, so this paper is, IUT2 is almost completely local. Um, and what it does is it, it, it kind of constructs uh, uh, some of these, these uh, thetas in, in it, it makes them uniform. Uh, uniform over, over some choices that have to be made when this is constructed. Um, okay. So these two papers feed into here. This one slightly feeds into here. Um, this this paper, in, in its construction, it uses this um, uh, semigraphs uh, uh, of anaboloids. So anaboloids are going to be like these base categories for um, for Frobenioids, and that being said, so this feeds into here directly. Um, that being said. Uh, here, let me just kind of like give you the meat. So the meat of all this is this Atoll Theta paper. Um, and this is what's going to allow, to, uh, allow us to encode uh, the, the, the tape parameters category, uh, category theoretically into um, uh, these tempered Frobenioids, which are in, I guess, like example 3.2, I think of, uh, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Example 3.2 of this, this IUT1 paper. So this is the important encoding here. Um, there's a lot that goes into this. 
So in this, there's a lot of reconstruction theorems. And again, in this, this IUT paper, there's a lot of reconstruction theorems. Um, the, first, the first one. Um, and these, these are kind of developed in, in um, these, these, this series of papers of uh, absolute uh, anabelian geometry. So topics in absolute anabelian geometry. There's three of them. He mostly just cites the, the third paper. So there's three papers here. They're kind of together. They're friends. So And these feed into this. The other thing that feeds into this is the geometry of, of Frobenioids. So there's two of these papers where he develops the theory. Uh, so this has P-adic and Archimedean Frobenioids here and here. Um, okay. Another thing is this this third paper um, is develops some holomorphic spaces that go into here. So here, this is kind of like... Um, Okay, so this is how, how everything fits together. It contains, you know, how to relate things back to the field. So, yeah, and this is the Hodge theaters. So this is kind of the, the, the rough overview of what's going on. Um, so where are people kind of trying to understand things right now? So it's my understanding that these two things are the hardest part here. Okay? Um, so... In these two things, there's there's kind of some things that you need to understand that, that are kind of harder to understand. Uh, there's kind of, uh, I guess, three fundamental operations. There's this thing called the Coomer detachment. There's this uh, theta link. Um, and there's a particular theta link. So the theta link that we're interested in is in this mu cross. So this is the final version. And then... Um, and there's, uh, the, the other thing is there's this log link. Okay. And so what so, someone's going to do is we're going to encode these thetas in here. Then we're going to put the, these, these thetas inside things called log shells. Um, I think the version of log shells that we need are actually in uh, this paper here. So this one. So there's, there's like log shells. And we're actually going to be computing of volumes of log shells, but we're going to be measuring kind of the distortion of log shells uh, under these operations and show that the, the distortion is bounded. And apparently, um, the control of the distortion of, of theta, which is the thing that encodes, um, again, the, 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 the minimal discriminant elliptic curve, so we should be thinking of Spiro's conjecture, um, uh, that the... Th that's where the log con uh, log conductor and log uh, different appear. And so these are these log shells, um, or the holomorphic holes of log shells, things like this. And so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, so the a lot of it goes, so again, the, the strategy is to kind of present this data uniformly um, by this is what he calls synchronization, and then uh, estimate estimating how much these things can change under... Um, uh, Coomer detachment in, in these log lengths and and um, yeah so that's all I wanted to say um, hopefully this was helpful and you can kind of see where where things are going um, again the, the the biggest part of the the, the the people need to understand are in these these two papers here um, and uh, so that's that's it uh, thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful